Hey, welcome aboard Flight 172 from, uh, from Grand Rapids to Walker, Minnesota. This is not a a full meal service today. Um, it's a, kind of a short hop, but uh, wait and see. Wait till you see what I got in store for you. This is a what a beautiful evening to be flying, and uh, I've got. Uh, I was just out practicing and didn't plan on filming. I don't even have my GoPro, and uh, you got to see you got to see what I got uh, coming up here because this is an area of Minnesota I've never flown over, and uh, I'm impressed. Hold on, this is called Leech Lake, and um, that's because it has a lot of leeches in it. Believe it or not. It's uh, something around 200 or 212,000 acres in size. It's the third largest lake in Minnesota. And um, 100, I don't remember how, how deep, 125 feet deep or something like that. Um, 195 miles of shoreline. The third largest lake in Minnesota pretty well known for um, for fishing. It, it's one of the premier fishing destinations in Minnesota. We're looking west here at the sunset, and I apologize about that. I'll get turned around here in a minute um, so that you can see the rest of the, the lake. But it just keeps going and going. Down in here, um, just kind of where the wing strut is there is a little town called Federal Dam. That's the name of the town, Federal Dam, right there. Why do you think they call it Federal Dam? Well, because there's a dam there. <laughs> and it's a federal, federally operated dam, operated by the Corps of Engineers. And um, the reason that they have a dam is because this is actually a naturally occurring lake, but to keep the lake level steady, to keep it consistent, they have a dam to regulate uh, the flow of water. There's something like three rivers that flow into this lake and one river that flows out. So that's why um, they have one dam and that's able to um, to regulate the level of the water. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's a great fishing lake. There's all kinds of fish in here. There's you know, panfish. And, uh, it's a great walleye lake, northern pike, uh, muscalunge. There's muskie in here. Uh, bass, both smallmouth and largemouth bass are in here. But the one fish that I think is probably most known to be in this lake, and probably um, much to the disappointment of most of the locals because it's such a beautiful lake. But one of the, the more famous fish is called an eel pout. And just like the name implies, it's a fish, but it's kind of a cross between an eel and maybe a carp. It's a odd looking fish, ugly, and if you grab a hold of one, if you catch one, grab a hold of it, it'll wrap itself around your arm, kind of like a snake. Every winter they have an eel pout festival, and kind of in the direction that I'm pointed here, way on the other side of the lake, we're not going to go over there because so far, but um, over there is a little town called Walker, Minnesota, and um, Walker hosts an eel pout festival. It's an eel pout fishing tournament with a whole festival that goes along with it. It's all on the ice. So if you ever get a chance to come up here in the wintertime, you really need to try to time it for that eel pond festival. It's, I've never actually attended the festival itself, but it's quite, a, it's quite an experience. There's a lot of videos online um, and very entertaining. So it's a great, kind of a fun uh, thing to do in the wintertime. So, just kind of, kind of, not going to go way offshore here because they don't have any um, survival equipment if I were to go down in the water. 
So we're not going to take a chance, but uh, I did want to show you just how huge this lake is. It's amazing how, how big this is. We'll go over to the Federal Dam here so you can see where the dam is. Now we're looking uh, pretty much straight west, or straight east, I'm sorry. From here, looking in that direction is Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Behind me, um, kind of northwest of here is Bemidji, Minnesota. So great uh, tourism area um, in the summertime and the wintertime. Great for snowmobiling, great for ATVs. Uh, fishing, obviously, it's a wonderful area to fish. Um, if you look, you can't really tell. It's a lot easier to see it by the naked eye, but it seems like the shore of this lake ends and then it kind of like hop, does a little hop and begins again. That's another lake called the Wind of Bagashish, one of, one of uh, Minnesota's largest lakes. It's just, you know, there's a little land uh, in between U.S. Highway 2, in between, and um, a little town called Bina, B-N-A. So, if you ever get a chance uh, for this area, or you get a in this area, if you're at, if you find the town called Bina, then uh, most likely you will find both Lake Winnipegashish and Leech Lake. All right, so here you can see this is actually the river, and it's kind of been, you know, it looks like maybe a river delta almost because it's kind of you know, all swampy. And that's because of that dam. Um, there's a, you can kind of see where this, kind of the big widening ends there and, and a river begins, that's the dam. And there's a little town there called Federal Dam. So, uh, you know, apparently uh, a long time ago, maybe uh, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, somebody said, damn it, and they did. Uh, there you can see the dam right, right there is the dam. And I think we'll head up back and do some takeoffs and landings, but uh, I just had, I couldn't resist. And it's such a beautiful evening. The clouds are gorgeous. The sun is beautiful. I'll see if I can get a picture of the sunset here and uh, add that to my video. But um, a really gorgeous air is smooth as glass. And uh, I just couldn't resist going flying. And while I was over here, I couldn't resist um, filming. I hadn't planned on it, but um, uh, what a great evening for that, and I hope you liked uh, Leech Lake, Minnesota.